guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting for to episodes 3 and 4 of Squid Girl. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 3 and 3, 2, 1. Hold on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, work with me. <laughs> in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's see what happens with Inca today. I mean... Y'all don't know. I am tired. I've been home since almost an hour. Yeah, yeah. I've been home for an hour now, and I am tired, and I gotta go to work tomorrow. But by the time y'all see this, the Patreons, it'll be Saturday. Everybody else, it'll be Monday morning. Nope. It'll be Wednesday morning. So yeah, you get to see how tired last week Deja was, and the same day, next Wednesday, I'll be working. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go to work. <laughs> I don't want to go to work tomorrow. I don't want to go to work Saturday. I mean, especially tomorrow. Five hours. Imagine five hours by yourself in this small store. You might go nuts, right? Who knows? I ain't going to know until tomorrow. Also, like the comments of the first two episodes, I'm glad everybody is happy about me reacting to this show. A lot of people were surprised that I was reacting to this show, possibly because it is something that I have, like, what I like, but people were surprised that I didn't watch this. And I was like, yeah, no, I didn't watch this when this is out. G your girl was busy. Hmm? Are y'all watching something scary? Yeah! <laughs> what is that right there? Oh, it's a... All three of them look like the oldest sister with the hair. That's fake. Exactly. That's sometimes what they do. Well, you guys could go on, um, what is it, the, the courage thingy? The test of courage. There we go. Because it's fun. Is Chizuru here? Chizuru is going to be the one scaring everybody, of course. Oh my god, this girl. <laughs> she is like, yes. We're getting some moments with Inca today, yes. <laughs> oh, oh. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I, I get that, but you know, ghosts and then, you know, curses and then, you know, spirits following you. That's some scary ish. <laughs> Hmm? 
Oh shit. <laughs> it's gonna scare the shit out of them, ain't it? Oh god, Inca. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, they go by you instantly. <laughs> Woo. Poor Inca, she turned into Marie Cochon. Baby, that don't work. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> nah, that's Inca. Y'all just don't know. Baby, you were just helped by ghosts last night. The okay, here here's one thing. I didn't say this last week, but okay, so I did research to see who Inca is played by. The fact that this is freaking Cure Peace. Mother effing Cure Peace from Smile. I can't, I can't see anyone but cure piece are, um, Sugumi from Bandere. <laughs> huh? Yeah, especially for you, because, you know, you're a human. No. Uh. Well, yeah, there's a lot of danger, you know, on land, too. Right? <laughs> Baby, it's just a
<laughs> yeah, train. <laughs> Oh shit, we surrounded. I'm gonna die today. Oh, we know, we know. <laughs> No, no, Inca. After the episode you've done had, girl, nah. Boyfriends, definitely boyfriends. Yeah. An easier way, Lord Jesus, Inca. But Inca, he has no tentacles. <laughs> you doing? Mm. The way she ran away. So cute. That's a banana, baby. <laughs> the yellow banana! <laughs> Having a panic attack. Well, you know, they kind of tried to, but, um, you know. <laughs> she pretty.
Ay, nakisa. Inka, not everybody is going to have the exact same reaction Nagisa had. You know, she's just one of those who initially is scared. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. No. Yeah, did y'all still get that fixed? You know, we're on a, uh, okay. Yeah, now it's fixed a little bit. Thank God. Because I was about to say, be like, we are about to go the whole season without that whole being fixed. Yeah, I mean, no offense, Nagisa, it really does look like you are the only one that is not a afraid of her. I mean, but seriously, baby, you can't be scared. She's just a baby. You know, Inka probably like, how old can octopuses get or squids get? That's a good question. <laughs> Damn, it go. <laughs> well, I mean, it's true, though.
gonna attract Inca to shrimp. Ah, Jesus. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> well, um, I will say Nagisa is a very, very <laughs> special addition. To our group, I mean, <laughs> oh, I can't. The fact that this girl's like, yeah, you know, I love the I love the sea, the water, love surfing, yada yada, the beach. Thinking like, okay, you just some everyday normal girl, just like the rest of us, you know, ish, whatever. And then once Inca came in, she was like, oh, okay, hell no, like, what the fuck is that? Like, do I need to fight it? <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, no. After everything Inca tried, in the end, this girl is just afraid of her. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I can't. But no, 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 no. The best thing. The best thing about this episode. And this might be my favorite episode out of all as of right now. This girl, fucking Inga, was like, you know what? I lost them, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to glow. I'm going to, you know, put my glow on and be a firefly, and I'm going to find them. They're going to find me like that. Nah, bitch. Because <laughs> to everybody, because you know what? Let me tell you something. If I was walking in a graveyard or somewhere where it is dark, and I could barely see what is around me and something is walking towards me that is glowing oh hell yeah i'm running the fuck up out of there so i'm not mad at them at doing it because i would have did the same damn thing as well because you, you're sitting here you know you have a conversation you'd be like guys you see that you'd be like you see what now y'all don't see that you'd be like you know see okay th this is what it'll be like because this this actually happened okay so one time my um my friends and i were hanging out and it was like we we were kind of walking somewhere and all of a sudden like we heard something and initially and remind you this is what it was like it was me my other black friend and one of my white girlfriends so typically if you have seen a horror movie or something or anything and if you've been around black people before this is how it goes we don't ask questions. We just run. Like, if you hear someone say, yeah, let's go check that out. I'm already running halfway down the street. This is worse. Like, one time, we were walking. We were just hanging out. And ish. And we're talking and stuff. All of a sudden, I see, like, several people run past. I turn around, and I automatically ran with them. And my other friend did, too. And so, my boyfriend... My friend Alexis, she was like, where y'all going? I'm like, we don't ask questions, we just go. <laughs> because it's like, we don't know where they, if they run away for something. 
towards them. I don't care. If I see people running, I'm running too. And especially if they all spooked and everything, I'm really running. So, you know, if you ever go to Halloween Horror Nights and if you ever see me run, yeah, 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 just no. You know, like, get the fuck out. But seriously, if I was walking somewhere and I saw something like that walking towards me, I'd turn my ass around and I'm running back to my car and I'm getting the fuck out. Like, no. <laughs> We don't play. I also love the fact that, you know, Goro was trying to get Teru to swim, and then Ika's like, no, let me help. You know, you need tentacles to be able to swim. It's like, no, 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 baby, baby, baby. Just because that's the quote-unquote easy way doesn't mean everybody needs to do it. And then when she tried to swim on her own, <laughs> that was so cute. I cannot, like, bruh. Stop. That was fucking adorable. She tried, though. She fucking tried. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Alrighty, episode four in three, two, one, go. That part, it, that is still gross. <laughs> like, I understand, yes, some squidding pasta. I've heard that stuff is good. But after watching that part from last week, I was like, bruh. <laughs> but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. If we don't get another episode where she cosplays, I'm gonna sue. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's why the way the world is the way it is. What'd you find? Won't you buy it? Oh, that's a wallet. Oh, damn. You could buy anything. Yeah. Or you can save it. Her baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't really buy power, babe, but, um, you know, hey. This ain't gonna work.
Yeah, you want a book? <laughs> what, you saw? Hold the fuck up. No, she just did not smell the air over here like, oh my god, I sense Inca is near. Girl, you got spidey senses? Okay, Inca senses? Girl, mm -mm. She She's gonna buy shrimp. Oh my god. She literally spent all her money on shrimp. Nagisa? Oh, no, she's a do. I know. She has that hold on people. Did she eat it like an all? Like she was just like ah, like no, she was like Kirby, like ooh, <laughs> oh, oh. She was like <laughs> her mouth, like oh. <laughs> I can't. I need to stop. Uh huh. Of course. Is it more shrimp? She sent her shrimp. Oh my god. Is she dresses the shrimp? But but so she she was dressed as the shrimp.
What well, damn ankle? Oh, damn. The TV broke. And at five o'clock. Poor baby, yeah, like a couple minutes passed and you already bored. Or plums. <laughs> of course, she didn't buy her home. She's right. Yeah, she'll be fine. Come on, it's cheesy to be talking about. Let, let's not talk about houses now. <laughs> a house is a house no matter what size it is. Aww. But it's time to go to bed, baby. Leave talking to him alone. He's sleepy. Go! <laughs> Do not go in Cheez-It's room.
Exactly. I think that's a moment that we do not want to see woken up out of his sleep. I, I know. I know that feeling because I hate with a passion when someone wakes me up out of my sleep. Well, damn, you could at least turn off the lights outside, in the living room, in the kitchen, anywhere else. Damn! Jesus! Yeah, it's just a mask. Okay, so you basically decided to make a Walmart version of Inca. <laughs> okay, because it's like this. Our Inca, the real Inca. That Inca is like a Target or a Bloomingdale's or a Old Navy or no, 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 no. You know what? No, 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 no. Our Inca is a Starbucks. That Inca with the big head, that is like every other chain trying to be Starbucks. She won't. Oh my. Inca! <laughs> it really is. Please and thank you.
Okay. Not really. Your, you know, opinion is just, you know, useless. Yeah. Don't be jealous. It's okay. I feel bad for Nakisa. It really is. If you had a little cute thing, then yes, it would help. But you need our actual Inca. You need Starbucks. Not that. Yeah, that's a little weird, though. Uh, Inca! I know, right? Poor baby. Right. Well, that... <laughs> not expecting those to be there but because they were introduced in this episode of course it makes sense for them to be in the ending theme <laughs> whoa okay okay <laughs> okay <sighs> Okay, so I like the fact that, you know, because Inca found someone's wallet. Oh, it's the blind girl. As I was saying, um, I'm glad that she was able to find somebody's wallet. And, you know, typically, you know, you get a reward out of it and such. But, I mean, that's like, okay, so that was like 10,000 10, yen, right? So, that that's like still a hundred dollars, right? I mean, yeah, you can buy a lot of money, but the fact is that she spent all her money on shrimp, I'm not really surprised. And then Sane, because she's like, oh, okay, okay, Inca likes shrimp, right? So, I'm gonna go out. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and buy a shrimp costume, and I'm gonna, you know, 
package myself in that shrimp costume, and in the end, she'll love me. The, the fact is, when they clo when she closed up the box, you could hear Sane breathing, and be like, what? You gotta get a box. <laughs> you gotta get a box big enough to fit like a, a, a teenager, a human, average size and stuff. Like someone, I'm like five ten and five eleven, so I know there is no box that can handle me. So I'm like, ah. <laughs> that's a no, no, ma'am, mm -mm, no, I'm good. <laughs> Laughing. Okay. Also, the the competition with another beach and having another Inca come in. What the fuck was that shit? I cannot. Oh my god, I'm fucking crying over here. I can't with this show. I fucking love it so damn much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of Squid Girl. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes five and six. Bye, guys!